you know, uh, what is happening is what that song we just sang, New Wine. That is happening globally to the body of Christ. The shaking and the waking and the squeezing, you know, you don't get a diamond without squeezing coal. Everything's out of it. You don't get juice without squeezing a juice or, or a, a fruit. Amen. And wine comes by squeezing grapes. Oil comes by squeezing olive oil, you know, <laughs> olives and things to that degree. In other words, nothing comes without pressure, a crush. That's what the potter wheel is about. God must crush us. When he sees things that are not right, you get back on it, he crushes you again until it comes to the surface. But you remove it, not him. The problem is, is people see it, but they don't remove it. And then they allow it to linger and play and uh, stay attached to them. But the purpose of all of this right now, why the crushing, you know, what does he say? Listen, it, it, the new wine brings new power, brings new freedom. And what it does is give you the ability to exchange your old flames for a new fire. And in that new oil and that new wine, it's creating a new fire. See, right now, the body is being in a transition from being poor. The body's been poor. But it's getting ready to become rich. It's been in a place where it's been in famine, but it's getting ready to come out. And that's what's happening in the trans transition right now in the body of Christ. And the world will become more famished while we become more wealthy. Because the world's eyes are going to turn on the body for help. They won't turn to the government no more. They're getting ready to turn to the body, but there's a process of this transition. That means many things must crash and crumble and fall according to the worldly traditions. See, the enemy has set up so many platforms of deception. And there's pathways to those platforms. And it's up to the body right now for the direction of the Holy Spirit to begin to destroy their platforms and their pathways. So that the path, the platforms and the pathways of God Almighty can be formed. But it takes every member of the body to be willing to exchange their old for the new. Right now, there is a great shaking going on. Everybody sees it. So no matter what is going on in your life, you still have the ability to build a platform for Christ and pathways to that platform. But if you're not right with God, there's no way you're going to do it. Now, these path pathways are also favor. Favor. Favor from God to build. And I saw like a, um, what do you call those? As belts, co conveyor belts that move packages and stuff like that. I saw that in the spirit moving from a cloud of glory. And it was coming out of the cloud of glory. And all of these things were on it. I didn't know what was on it, but it was all favor of God. With, you know, and, and then there was like packages with, I, I don't want to say people's names, but it sure seemed like it was going to them. But he said the pathway's got to be righteous and just. If it's not righteous and just, they won't get the packages. Matthew 24, verse 3. Now, as Jesus said on the Mount of Olives, hallelujah, the disciples came to him privately saying, you know, there's no coincidence that the mountain is called Olives. Hello? Hello? Why? Because what he's about to release to them is the power of crushing.
and the disciples that came to him privately saying, tell us when these things are going to be. In other words, I guess when the crushing is going to be. And what will be the sign of your coming in the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. Stay close to me. Learn from me. For many will come in my name. In other words, <laughs> there'll be false media. False information, doctrines of demons. Saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. And you will hear wars and rumors of wars. Well, we know that that's been happening, amen? I mean, they're trying to promote World War III, but it isn't going to happen yet. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. He said, for nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. And then they'll deliver you up to tribulation and attempt to kill you, and you'll be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Then many will be offended and will betray one another and will hate one another. Many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because of lawlessness will grow abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures in the end shall be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached, and all the world is the witness to all nations, and then the end will come. Again, we are what we call the beginning of sorrows. Amen? This is, but we are coming, we're in full-blown beginning of sorrows, we're getting ready to come out. Again, it'll be false media, wars, threats, warnings. There'll be racism, there'll be beliefs of social, uh, a corrupt beliefs of social religions. There'll be famines, diseases, earthquakes. There'll be weather changes. This will happen on a global arena. Then tribulation and then great tribulation. All of these things is because there's a battle over building and destroying platforms and pathways that either lead to the truth and eternal life or to deception and death. See, the enemy, the, what the Bible tells us that the narrow, the gateway is what? Difficult. Why, why is it difficult? Because the enemy's always trying to interfere, distract. Or it'd be real easy. You just walk, yeah, man, I'm there. You know? But no, it's difficult because there's a process. God allows the process to happen so you become more of his image and likeness. So what's going on right now, these are the battles over buildings, over the building of platforms and pathways and the destruction of buildings and pathways, of, of platforms and pathways. Amen? Psalm 89 and verse 11. The heavens are yours, the earth also is yours, the world in all its fullness, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. To Baron Herman, rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand, and high as your right hand. Righteous and justice are the foundation of your throne. In other words, they are the platform. Amen? Mercy and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O oh Lord, in the light of your countenance. Your name they rejoice all day long, and in your righteousness they are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and in your favor our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, and our king to the Holy One of Israel. Righteous and justice are the platform and pathways of his mercy and truth. Righteousness is the character traits of Christ. It's who he is. It's the behavior. Amen? And justice is the execution or the performance of his righteousness. Grab hold of that. What is righteousness? It's the character traits of Christ. It's who he is. Amen? And what is justice? Justice is to execute or perform his righteousness. When everybody asks for justice, well, what are you actually really asking for? You're asking for God's righteousness for in, in, intervention. 
You want his character, his morals, everything about him to be truth and light, to invade every area. So again, righteousness is a character, traits of Christ Jesus. And justice is the execution and performance of his righteousness. Everybody got it? Psalm 106, verse 1. So when you see these battles over these pathways and over these platforms, what's it actually? You've got wickedness, evilness, platforms, and pathways to them. Amen? And you've got righteous platforms and pathways. And there's a battle over them. The righteous ones are trying to destroy the wicked ones, and the wicked ones are trying to destroy the righteous ones so that platforms don't maintain. The Bible says, unless the Lord builds a house, we what? Labor in vain. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll give thanks to the Lord, for he's good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who what? Keep justice and he who does righteousness at all. So he's qualifying an individual. Does everybody get this? He's qualifying an individual of a pathway. It says, who can speak these things about God? Verse 4, remember me, O Lord, when the favor you have toward your people. Am I? Oh, visit me with your what? Salvation. Remember, favor. Okay, so again, he's qualifying that individual for the pathway from the glory of God, from the throne room of God, that pathway to release favor. Amen? To release what? Favor. But if that person is not walking in righteousness and justice, that platform is not activated for them. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 5, that I may see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, and that I may glory with your inheritance. Who can declare his goodness? Only those who choose to execute his justice through the pathway of favor and build the platforms of his righteousness as the foundations of everything that we do. So everything we do, we should be always looking to build a platform for Christ and establish a pathway to it, no matter what. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care what's happening. I don't care if the worst things are happening in your life. Amen? We always look to build a platform for Christ and a pathway to it. Always. Because that's what we do. We are the body. We are to build these things for him. We are to be his hands and his feet and his mouth and to declare his righteousness. Proverbs 21, verse 2. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. Oh, yeah. But the Lord weighs the hearts to do what? Righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than what? Oh, snap. Oh. Verse 4. A haughty look, a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked are sin. The plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty, but those of everyone who is hasty surely to what? Poverty. Oh, righteousness and justice is more acceptable to him than sacrifice. See, so many people look at, oh, man, I've given up this, I've given up that. God says, so what? What's that got to do with my righteousness and justice? Amen? Nothing. You'll gain favor. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. For you are God's fellow workers. You are God's field and you are God's what? Building and builders. Hallelujah. According to the grace of God, God's plan, which was given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. But let each one take heed in how he builds on it. 
No, for no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, everyone's work will become clear, for the day will declare it, because it will be revealed by fire. And the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss. But he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defies the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. We are the temple of God. We have become master builders of his righteousness and justice and executors of his justice. We are building platforms and pathways for his glory and to his glory. I'm going to say it again. We're building platforms and pathways for his glory and to his glory. I remember one time he sent me to a, I was going to say a triple A meeting, uh, 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 an AA meeting. <laughs> and I was sitting in there, and all these people were proclaiming they were addicts. And they came around to me, and I said, hi, my name is Guy Humphrey. And uh, people were talking and this and that, and I, and I wanted to share so much. And I said, now? And he said, no. I kept saying, now? No. And they'll go around the room. I'm like, come on. I'm going to blow up. And then he gave me a vision. And I saw the spirit in me come out of my body and walk around the room. And he spoke to people. He said, allow my spirit to take place. And I just shut up. The next thing I know, it seemed like he was back in my body. I didn't feel him leave or anything. He just, I just saw him, in other words, because we were carrying the presence of God, and he was speaking to people in that room. I thought maybe the, it was coming to an end. I said, I was wanting to say now, and he said no. I didn't even get a chance to say it, not now. So I left God in my car, and I started off driving down the road, and there was a guy that was in the meeting waving me down. He said, man, I need to talk to you. I thought, oh, he said, see? Let me take care of it. No, maintain to know my voice and my unction and obey it. Amen? And I got to start uh, building a platform of righteousness with this person I picked up in the pathway. All in God's time. Hallelujah. Yes, it's a good day to die. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the what? The flesh. Even though we've known Christ according to the flesh or the physical, yet now we know him thus no longer. Again, people always look at this as the the wickedness of the flesh, but it's not about the wickedness of the flesh, it's about the physical. We're not to acknowledge people according to the physical way of life. So somebody, in other words, because they're living a pathway of wickedness, not righteousness. We want to associate with those who are living a pathway, building a platform, amen, of righteousness and justice. In verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, all things, and behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are what? We are ambassadors. We're master builders. For Christ, as though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Oh, hallelujah. We have become master builders. 
We are ambassadors to build platforms and pathways for the glory and to the glory of God. Amen. Psalm 149, verse 1. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song in his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let total freedom rejoice in their maker. Let the children of total freedom be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name with a dance. Oh, yes. Let them sing praises with timbrels and harps. And for the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory and let them sing aloud on their beds. Don't keep people up all night, amen? <laughs> Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To what? To what? Execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples. What are they going to actually execute? The righteousness and justice of God. Amen? To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute on them the written judgment of justice and righteousness. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Amen. This has been granted to you and me. This is what we're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Execute the written judgments of righteousness and justice by building platforms and pathways. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4. One of the platforms of building God's righteousness and justice is in his love. Amen? Love. It says what? Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. That's a way of building a pathway. In other words, when we went out last night, we expressed God's love. You know, the Bible tells us about, you know, turning the cheek, let them slap one side. And, and you know, there's things that we got to let happen. You know, people are going to steal from you. Don't return envy. You know, don't, don't return evil for evil. You know, we got to use discernment in those areas. Why? Because we want to build a pathway and a platform of Christ. But after you're given both cheeks, then you can kick their butt. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may have to build a platform while they're on the ground. Hallelujah. Keeping the pathways of your character, life, and Christ, life choices. God wants to keep us clean and pure so and keep us holy so that we, he can release his favor to us. Amen? Ephesians 4, verse 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the fertility of their thoughts, their minds, their thinking. Amen? having their understanding dark and being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that's in them, because of the blindness of their hearts, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lewdness, to the work of uncleanness with greediness. He says, but you've not learned how to build. You've not learned Christ. You've not learned how to build the platforms and pathways of Christ. If indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off what? Concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your thinking, and that you put on the new man which is created according to God and true righteousness and, and holiness. They've not learned righteousness and justice and how to build the platforms and pathways that lead to God's glory or give God's glory. 
they're still building according to the carnal way of life. Psalm 37, verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will bring it to pass. And he shall shine forth your righteousness as a light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath, and do not fret. It only causes harms. Why? Because evildoers are going to get cut off, and those who wait in the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Amen. Because they will build pathways. They will build platforms. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. Though we walk in the, we walk in the physical, amen. We do not war according to the physical. Does everybody understand that? Because flesh is wickedness, amen. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal or physical, but they're mighty in God for pulling down strongholds because they're spiritual. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Where? Bringing every thought in your thoughts, amen, into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled, so you got to be obedient. You can't give what you ain't got, amen. If you're not practicing righteousness and justice, you can't build a platform and pathway of righteousness and justice. John chapter 8, 42. The Pharisees and Sadducees tried to build platforms and pathways of righteousness and justice, but they couldn't. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me, for I proceed forth and came from God. Now have I come of myself, but he who sent me. Why, you don't understand my speech, because you are not able to listen to my words. Wow. You are of your father, the devil. I'd say that was a big rebuke. He's talking to the Pharisees and Sadducees. And the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning. It does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which if you convict me of sin, and if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear because you are not of God. That's phenomenal. Why? They couldn't, again, they're trying to build platforms and pathways, and they can't. The only thing they're building is deception. They are misleading, not leading. And you see this all over the world right now. This is what God is warning us about. They're building places to mislead the enemy and to dismantle platforms and pathways that the righteous have already built. If they can't do that, they'll try to kill as many people as possible. And that's what they're doing. Colossians 3, please, verse 5. We are in such a time right now that we need to be so awake, alert, and ready, and willing. We need to have boldness. Need to be filled with the Spirit and get that new fire, man. Get the fire of God. What does it say? Therefore, put to death your what? Your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Why? Because they're platforms of wickedness. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. Think about all the things that we inherited that were wrong platforms. Not realizing it. Even traditions of family traditions and, and we, uh, we call that nationality. That's right. 
you know, traditions that were wrong platforms. Even in the diets of some of them were killing everybody, bringing diabetes. Oh, it's in the family tradition. Here, eat this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Eating themselves to death. Verse 8. But now you yourselves are to put off these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Why? Because it's a bad platform. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Why? Because he says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They don't know these things. They're building on wrong things. Where there's neither Greek, Jew, nor circumcised, nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, nor free. But Christ is in all and in you all. Oh, hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all things will be added. Why? Because you're, if you're doing that, then you're, the, the pathway, that assembly line, that pathway, it's got your name on boxes, blessings, and things coming. Not Amazon. Amen. Amazon can't beat them. It can't beat God's delivery. And they don't lose packages. <laughs> Matthew chapter 6, verse 31. Therefore, what? Do not worry. Hello. Do not go worst first. Therefore, do not worry. I'm going to say that again. Stop worrying. What can you do that God can't? <laughs> what shall, say, what shall we what? Eat. Oh, hallelujah. Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Or where shall we go? Or what? <laughs> For after all these things, the Gentiles seek, because that's the kind of platform they have. For your heavenly Father knows that you are in need of all these things. So what's the problem? But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be what? Added to you. Because remember, that pathway from the glory of God, amen, it's favor when you are producing righteousness and justice from God Almighty. So we want to keep in mind, no matter what's going on, even when your car breaks down, even when you spring a leak in your home, <laughs> even when your dog runs away, <laughs> whatever it is, amen, build a platform of righteousness. Amen? Build the pathway of his righteousness and justice. Execute it. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 6, please. Therefore, I remind you to what? Stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of worry or fear, or anxiety, or stress, but power, love, and sound mind. Hello. You want to disqualify yourself? You want to lose those packages? Hallelujah. You want any packages? <laughs> Go into fear. It stops the belt from moving. Puts brakes on it. Fear is sin. It is the presence of evil that promotes it. It seems to put a halt to everything. It puts a person in anxiety, stress, and self. It's like putting a person in quicksand. They try to kick their way out, and they get deeper and deeper and deeper. And unless they stay still and wait on rescue, then they don't sink so quickly. Amen? Romans 8, 28. And we'll close here. Did you ever get a bad report from a doctor? Don't raise your hand. 
we, we, you know, even, even there's days, you know, you, you hear about somebody's sickness and all of a sudden you feel the same way. Oh, you know, maybe, did I catch it? Worst first thinking, it's called worry. It's called fear. No weapon for and against us can prosper. He who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. By his stripes, I'm not only healed once, I live a life of healing. Amen? But you must confess it to possess it. And you're not going to confess it if you ain't thinking it. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together to the good for those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be what? Conformed to the image of his son. Oh, oh that's building platforms of his righteousness and justice. Amen. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. Whom he justified, these he also what? Glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Simple. Simple. But powerful. Pay attention. Be alert. What kind of platform are you building? What kind of uh, pathways are you building? We'll be judged for everyone. Amen? We need to dismantle the enemy's platforms and pathways and everything we do. Praise God. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for your word. We are honored and blessed. We ask that everything that's been imparted to us would grow and be protected and be brought to remembrance in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen.